Hi, this is Dale. We're back to talk about the covariance and the coefficient of correlation. So up to this time we've been looking at numerical methods to summarize the data for one variable at a time. But oftentimes managers or decision makers are interested in the relationship between two variables. And in this particular case we're coming, looking at an example on page 49 of your text and we're looking at the relationships between the size and the price. And the idea is that covariance and coefficient of correlation are going to provide information as to the strength and direction of the relationship between the two variables if one exists. So the covariance is a measure of what's called the linear association between two variables. So if it's a positive value, it indicates a positive relationship. A negative value indicates a negative relationship. So, for instance, if the two variables move in the same direction, both increase or both decrease, the covariance will be a large positive number. When the two variables move in opposite directions, the covariance will be a large negative number and if there's no particular pattern then the covariance is going to be a small number. So I'll, let's calculate that. In your homework I said to use the covar function. So I'm just going to type in covariance here and then we're going to go over cell equal and covar and again you can see I've got three different options here. The first one covariance that P is for the covariance for a population. Covariance S is for the covariance on a sample. And then covar is uh, compatible with Excel 2007 and earlier versions. That's the reason I told you because some people have that. So I'm going to click here and then within the function of covar it tells us to put in two arrays which is just the two variables so the first array would be size so I'm going to select A4 to A15 then I'm going to put in a comma which separates and now you see that array 2 gets bold I'm going to select that as well that range close the parenthesis and hit enter and you can see that the calculation for the covariance is 17,000 350. I'm also going to show you those other two covariance calculations. So I'm just going to put covar P and covar S. Again, so equal, and I'm going to double click to select the covariance for population and then select the first array or that the x, the size variable, put the comma and move on to the second one which is price or the y. So in this case the x would be the independent, the size would be independent and then price is in theory dependent on that. So let's hit enter and again you can see that the covariance for the population matches the covar function. But when we use the covariance for the sample, double click to select that, and now select range A4, so I'm just clicking and dragging to select the range I want, type the comma, and then put in that second, you're going to see a little bit of a difference there. So when you're calculating the covariance for a population, you're doing division by n where the covariance for a sample is n minus 1. So that's why you see that difference between the 18,927 and the 17,350. So remember I told you um, if the two variable variables move in the same direction, both increase or both decrease, the covariance will be a large positive number. 
or if they move in opposites, it'll be a large negative. The problem is it's often difficult to determine whether a covariance is large or small. So that's why we go on and calculate the coefficient of correlation. So basically, uh, the coefficient is trying to answer the question of how strong is that relationship between x and y. And the coefficient of correlation is defined as the covariance divided by the standard deviations of the variables. And what ends up happening is that the coefficient of correlation has a fixed range. It can have a value of minus 1 to plus 1. Now if it's a plus 1, it indicates a strong positive linear relationship. So the, the variables are strongly positive related or a value of um, near minus 1 indicates a strong negative relationship. And the closer the correlation is to zero, the weaker the relationship. So, let's calculate it. Coefficient of correlation, just to shorten it. And it's equal to C-O-R-R-E-L. So, again, returns the correlation coefficient between two data sets double click to select it and then I can go array 1 that same range A4 to A15 and then array 2 close that up and in this case you can see the value is 1 a plus 1 so it has a strong positive relationship between those two variables so I'll come back in a later video and show you how to do the uh, the hand uh, or the calculation without using those formulas so you're familiar with that so you can show your work for your homework.